and welcome to St. Field Road Presbyterian Church's E20. My name is David. And my name is Joanne. And today we're going to look at a passage in the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament of the Bible. But Joanne has a question for you first. Have you ever lost something or have you ever gotten lost yourself? I remember when I was a child getting out of a lift too soon and the door closing. And then I was feeling very lost as my family were inside and they kept going in the lift without me. Now it was all okay. I was reunited with them a few minutes later. Sometimes also when I've parked my car in one spot and then I come back to go home and my car is not there, but actually it's only to realize that it's in the next street over or I parked it further away than I thought. David, I'm just wondering, have you ever gotten lost before? I have. One of the times whenever I was getting the bus back from school, I got off the bus too early and I didn't know where I was. And I started walking and I kept on walking and I kept on walking. And after about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I really didn't know where I was and I had to phone my daddy to come and get me. All okay now though? Um, well, I made it here, so I think we're okay. Here's another one for you. As we're thinking about childhood, what do you think Jesus was like as a child? How about we pause for a minute, I'll just give you about 10 seconds, and turn to your family and share your ideas what you think Jesus was like as a child. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Do you think that when Jesus was a child he liked football? Do you think he always obeyed his parents? Do you think he liked chocolate ice cream? Do you think he always got A's in his exams in school? Do you think that he liked to listen and ask lots of questions to his Sunday school or Bible teachers? Do you think that he had a little doggy that he really liked playing with? Do you think that he liked to go to church or the temple and worship God? Some of these things could be true and some of them might not be. But to know what Jesus was really like, we need to have a wee look at the Bible. And today's story is about a time Jesus got lost as a 12 year old. Because Jesus was a real boy. He was fully human and fully God. But that means he grew up, he had birthdays, and he learned just like you and me. Now, the Bible isn't filled with lots of stories about Jesus' childhood. We only know a couple of them. God's only given us a few small glimpses of Jesus' life before he grew up and began his ministry as the Son of God. But what God does reveal to us in the Bible teaches us that Jesus is God's son who came to do God's will. So listen carefully while Joanne reads from the Bible, Luke 2, 41 to 52. Every year, Jesus's parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they travelled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why are you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? but they did not understand what he was saying to them. He then went to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature 
and in favour with God and man. David, I'm going to quiz you to see if you were listening. You ready for it? Yep. Go ahead. Anyway. Let's see. When we read his parents, who are they in the story? Who were Jesus' parents? Mm-hmm. I think they were Mary and Joseph and God. Very good. Yes. Where did they go in today's story? Well, they went to Jerusalem and then they went back again. Yes. How often did they go to Jerusalem? They went for a feast, didn't they, every year? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, so hmm, let me see if I can get a few harder ones. When Mary and Joseph traveled home, how long did it take for them to realize that Jesus was not with them? Oh, it was a long, long time. How long was it? Um, a week. No. Mm, think again. Two weeks? No, no, a bit shorter. A day. Yes. Yes. A day. And how long did it take them to look for him though, when they got to Jerusalem? Three weeks. No. Try again. Three days? Three days. Yes. Yes. Can you remember where they found him in the end in Jerusalem? Oh, it was um, it was in the temple talking to all the teachers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. He was talking to them. And what was he doing? He was sitting there and he was asking lots of questions and listening to them. And they were all amazed at him. Yes. Very good. They really were, weren't they? They were amazed by his answers. So in today's story, Jesus was listening very carefully to the Bible teachers, to the teachers of the law in the temple. And he listened to his parents as well. And we know from verse 51 that he was always respectful and he always obeyed them. But whenever he went missing and whenever they went to look for him, Jesus said to his mom and dad that they did not know how to look for him in his father's house. And that wasn't his father Joseph's house he was talking about, that was his father God's house. Now I know Jesus is our example, and remember that he was a real human just like you and me. He was fully God, but as well as that he was fully human. Jesus shows us how we should try to live for God. Mary and Joseph were obedient to God, and they raised their son Jesus in a home honouring God's laws. And God's law required that the Jews travelled to Jerusalem three times a year to celebrate certain feasts, like this feast of the Passover. Now, we can't always perfectly obey our parents all the time, and that's not because of how old we are. It's because of our sin, and we need God to take away our sins and give us a new heart. And that's what he promises to do if we'll repent, say sorry, and trust in Jesus. Sometimes God tells us something at the time that we don't fully understand. But later on, when we look back at it, we recognise its true meaning. Mary and Joseph both knew that Jesus was God's son, but they didn't understand whenever Jesus referred to the temple as his father's house. Perhaps there are times when God is telling you something and it's difficult to understand right now. I know it happens to me. Me too. Well, guys, boys and girls, uh, thank you for listening today. And we're now going to sing We Will Trust. Have a good day. Bye.
Hi, and welcome to St. Phil Grove's Presbyterian Church, each way. For those of you who don't know, my name is Joanne, and this is... David. <laughs> Hi, I'm David. That's Joanne. <laughs> 